right, here's some reminders on how to do the Allen wrench and the hanger using the sweep command. So you should have a document name, period one or two, your last name, first name is sweep. First one we're going to do is an Allen wrench. So we need two sketches to do a sweep. So we'll do the first one, which is going to be the path um, in the front plane. So um, we're going to just draw a line straight up here and straight over here. Dimension it to four inches. It doesn't really matter, but something like think that. And this is this. Uh, I don't know, let's do one and a quarter. And we want a half inch fill it here. This point. To, no, half inch, 0 0.5, huh? 0.5. All right, so that is our path. Okay, so then we have, we need to hook a profile on the bottom of this so we can sweep it up. Which, of course, means we need a plane to draw it on. We want it perpendicular to this line, which would be parallel to that plane. So here's a new way to do a plane. You can, so we want to offset this, but we don't know the distance to here. So what you can do is go plane point and you click the point and you pick the plane that's parallel to, boom, and you got a plane there. Oh, life is good. Here we go. So now we're going to draw a sketch here and click on that and look straight at it. What point is it? Okay, so it's this one right here. So we're going to now draw a hexagon because an hour wrench, some people call it a hex. Uh, and we want the, I think we'll use the inscribe this time. Which one is it? It's this one right there. And we do want six, six, so that first number is how many sides hit enter. Uh, I'm going to look normally at it. And I want a quarter inch um, Allen wrench. So that would be from, actually it could be the, uh, radius of the circle, or you could do it from side to side. Since it's an inscribed circle, we could do the circle. Okay, that's what I want. I want that thing attached right to the bottom of that. It's like that. We go like this, boom. And the rest is easy. We go to the sweep command. And a sweep will take a certain shape, whatever you make. And instead of extruding it just straight up, it'll extrude it along the path. So, uh, that's what we want. The path. We want that. And yet, this and this. Bingo. Okay. There. Okay. So, there's Numero Uno. That was the easy one. So, now let's do a, uh, this, uh, Hanger. So we're going to do this. All right. So taking some measurements out of that. So again, we're going to have to sketch. And uh, we will do it in the front plane. And this one's going to be bigger than this. So let's 
I'll make some space. Okay, so let's go to two circles. I'm going to put one here and one over here. And those are going to be, um, do we want a line from here to here? And we want this line to be tangent to the circles. And we want those two center points to be horizontal. Oh, what just happened? Well, we're going to, uh, I don't know what happened there, but um, I should mention it first. These are supposed to be 1.5. Uh, it's not going to like this. what happened earlier. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All right. Now I'm going to draw a line from this midpoint straight up eight inches. Well, first of all, probably won't happen. So let's uh, dimension thing here first. This is supposed to be fifteen. This is supposed to be eight. Okay, so this is the bottom of the hanger. Now we're going to put the uh, hook of the hanger up here. Um, space another circle from this point and this one is two and we're going to we want a line from here to here and a line to there and as always we make things tangent not always but most of the time a lot of the time i'm going to bring a line down from this point About to there. And now, instead of trimming, I'm going to extend this line to that line. Now I'm trimming it. And then I need a little radius in there. Whoops. Here, here, and point five is good. I don't know why that's not on the circle. We're, so we're going to put it on the circle. Maybe yours is on the circle. This point is supposed to be on that circle. There we go. Now we're going to trim this. And 
return this to a construction line. But we do want a line from here to here. And another fillet at this corner. Okay, so we have a path going like this. No, no, no. Wait a second. I do this backwards. All right, I'm going to control Z this thing. So I get my circle back. I want to go this way. Um, all right, so let's. Uh, Trim. This. I don't want that anymore. Eventually, I got to trim this, but I got to get something up there to trim it too. And I trim that. I trim this. Trim that. And then let's put a line in uh, here to here so that I can trim the bottom of this. Okay, now we're starting to get it. We want it through here, around. Okay. While I'm trimming, let's get rid of that and that. Now, I'm not sure that this is going to work, but we'll find out. It wouldn't work any better, but maybe it will in here. Sometimes you, your path can't actually touch. You have to have a little gap there, but we'll see. All right, so there's my path. I'm going to start here. I'm going to sweep this thing all the way around. So that means I need to put my little circle right here. Again, we want it uh, parallel to this plane through this point. So we're going to go to a plane. We're going to go point, plane point. We want the plane to go through that point. We want it parallel to that plane. So now we're going to draw a sketch there uh, in this plane. Which is going to be a little circle. That's our profile. And I say this thing is about it is a quarter inch wide. So the diameter is a quarter inch. Not very big. There it is. Bingo. All right, let's see how this works. So we're going to sweep. We've done extrude. This is a revolve. Now we're sweeping. And we want this. And our path is going to be here. Here, here. Oh, look at that. Went so far, so good. I didn't like that last one. I'm not surprised. Okay, so there's a... Uh, so X out of this thing. All right, so let's go back to um, sketch three. It's sketch three of mine anyway. We need to uh, let's look right straight at it. 
make a little gap right here. It doesn't like to go back and touch the same path that it's already used. So we'll just, um, I don't know if I can grab it and move it. Can I? No, I don't want to do that. So let's uh, put a little line there and trim it. Not much. No one. Get rid of that. Boom. Okay, let's try it again. Sweep. Most of the other programs I use, once I click this, it just goes all the way around. In this one, you gotta just do each little section. And no error message. Alrighty, and uh, got it close enough that this thing just merged right in with the other. We no gaps there. Uh, and now we're just going to put a little round dome on that. So we're going to go sketch. Right on this, oh, look right at it. Whoops, I can't look right at it, I guess. Now we're going to draw a circle. We're going to grab, want to grab the center point? Yeah, look at that. But it won't grab a point out here, so we'll just have to dimension it. We know what the di diameter there is it's 0.25. Because that's the size of the profile we use for the sweep. Now we're gonna we're gonna we want a little half of a globe on here. So I'm gonna grab that, go straight up, and then right straight back down. Get out of the command. Now I'm just gonna drag a box around half of this, get rid of that first line, that first half line. I don't know if that makes any difference, but in some programs it does. So I'm just going to take this half sphere, rotate it 180 degrees around that line. Revolve it, I guess is the right word. So we go revolve this. Instead of full, I'm going to do 180. Although it would probably work if it just we only keep the 180. There we go. All right, I want you to go back now to the um, first sketch that we did. And move that thing over here closer to the... No, it's depending on where yours is. Okay, that's better. And that's the screenshot I want right there. Send me a screenshot of those two things.